In today's video, I'm going to talk about this PD machine which I designed two, mon two months back and it was perfectly working PD machine with a filament welder built in. You can see it on the screen and it's really, really compact, only 200 into 100 millimeter long and that's all the dimensions are and it is working pretty well with a direct cutting system where the plastic bottle cut and directly get into the hot end and then wind it by the spool but there is a one problem that's problem is noise noise is a really big problem in this PD machine and today's video we're gonna solve that so what is this problem let me just demonstrate to you what the problem I'm facing and everybody who has created this machine or any type of PD machine which have direct cutting system so let me just show it to you So you can hear the sound it's really really irritating tick 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 whatever the sound is it is really irritating uh, so if i put my mic a little bit away it's still creating if i put this machine on the one end of my room and i stand at the other other corner of my room and it's still the noise is very loud over there also and if i'm working or let's say i'm working on my computer designing something new stuff and 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 i put this machine on to create some pet filament and it is irritating it is like unbearable sound so for that i just i come up with a really really simple idea to fix that and that is to pre-cut your water bottle or any bottle into a strip form and then use that strip to convert it into a pet filament uh, so for that i have designed this simple bottle stripper to put it on a vice you know basically to hold something you know the vice this thing yeah so i designed this simple border cutter to put it on a vice and then cut it well i have one so i designed it according to my need but for you people if you don't have a vice or any other type of holder you can just do what i have i have designed one more which you can put it on your spare table or any table screw it and then you can use this thing like many other pd machine does so this is what i designed so and it's a really simple design just like the one on the pd machine and it's just a little replica or shorter one of that so let me just show you to how it works and how you can use this Well, it's quite funny I did a, such a stupid silly mistake. I mean, I didn't, I, I just forget to put a support for the water bottle. And if there's no support, bottle will be hanging. And eventually the PD filament or the strip that is coming out will gonna break. And there's not enough support for the bottle not to work this thing. So, uh, I mean, I didn't cut this part from the video purposely because I want to show that designers sometimes forget the things already done, already designed and worked. And sometimes they forget to put it in a new design so this happens just to i'm just saying that's why i didn't cut this part well let's just back to the topic so i thought i have to redesign this whole thing well not really i designed this plate so i thought why reinvent the wheel when there's already a wheel or whatever the saying is but i'm not going to sing i'm saying that and i can put this thing on this plate and then i can put this whole combo on the vise and then i can strip the bottle let me just show it to you how you can do it And boom, it's working pretty fine and you can try this by yourself. Talking about the free design, well this one is with a PET machine. So I'm releasing this part, this stripper, as well as the base plate for free on curlstreet.com. So link in the description, you can check it out and it's working pretty fine. And I think this is the best way to tackle with the noise. And this is a more efficient way I would say because, you know, sometimes when you're creating the filament, the filament might break from the bottle and then you have to redo the whole thing and then weld the filament. Or PET strip together that's a really really hectic work so what the best thing is to pre-cut your PET filament 
up from multiple powder in a day and then put it on your PET machine to convert it into a filament that's a really good way to do the things which i realized just now instead of having that direct cutting to pet filament conversion mechanism so that's it for today's video it's a really simple really short video and if you like it hit the subscribe button and hit the like button also and press the bell icon thanks for watching goodbye see you next video